Considering that Cebu is the cradle of Christianity in the Philippines, there is no doubt that someone from the Visayas, or particularly from Cebu, would emerge as a candidate for a saint. We are very fortunate that uh, Blessed Pedro Calongsod would now be uh, canonized as a saint, as a Cebuano saint. And that every Cebuano must be proud of. Venerable brothers, I greatly rejoice that you have considered blessed Jacques Bertieu, Pedro Colungsad, Giovanni Battista Piamarta, Maria del Monte Carmelo Saez y Berengares, Marianne Cope, Kateri Tekakwita, and Anne Schaefer, worthy of being proposed for veneration by the whole church. Therefore, by the authority of Almighty God, the Apostles Peter and Paul, and our own, we decree that blessed Jacques Bertieu, Pedro Colungsad, Giovanni Battista Piamarta, Maria del Monte Carmelo Saez y Berengares, Marianne Cope, Kateri Tikakwita, and Anne Schaefer be enrolled among the saints. Uh, we have to add to think that uh, uh, was uh, existed 300, more than 300 years ago. And then, uh, with the grace of God, uh, he was a plague of to the majority of his eminent secretary, Daniel Vidal. Uh, we are letting everybody know who he is now. When I was at program, I used to have a lot of catechesis. In every school, at the catechist, we tell the story of Kalungso. We have a lot of organizations, a lot of organizations, and not only that, uh, it will come, the uh, human being can say so, the real Kalungso. And the devotion, the fraternity, it will continue. There is also a lot of work that he has, what he died for, he has martyred down. The young person that uh, so strong that he stood for his faith. Now. Uh, this will live on, this will be catechized, this will be uh, brought forward. Uh, so, so it, it will continue, continue, continue relations with because we will always with us now. So at this stage, there's a challenge, no? That's very cool, no? We're talking about the business of Kalongsod. Where is Pedro Kalongsod? Mayor. Mayor, is First, no say. Pedro Kalongsod is our first Sadwana say. Siya ang pinakabata ang mga saint na saint sa Cebu. Siya ang ganang pinakabata ang mga saint na niya. Para, para na ko ilusad sila. Si Pedro Carusod, mga kuyo ni Father Diego nga namatay. Una nga namatay si Father Diego pero dili mahimong biyaan ni Pedro Carusod si Father Diego maong iyang ipapos si Father Diego maong santos na naapin siya ipatay. Yes, I know him, Bianco Pedro Colosso. He is soon to be canonized this coming October in Rome. The popularity of a saint is relative. Man, okay? uh, we also do not expect all young people, especially children, to know him. In as much as he is a saint, and saints are not as popular as like, an actress or an actor. But in the case of Yato Pedro, his commitment, which is translated into loyalty to Yato to Diego de San Vitores, is really exemplary. He did not leave, he did not abandon Yato uh, Diego de San Vitores, even when his life was in mortal danger. In fact, he died because he, he stayed on to accompany Beato, Beato Diego de San Vitores. Devotions cannot be, cannot be uh, sustained simply by mere human effort. We also have to understand that the devotions are propagated not mainly by human desire, but also by the movement of the Holy Spirit. The youth of today should never just consider themselves as persons to be evangelized. 
Beato Pedro has shown that the young people can be evangelizers themselves, meaning they can bring the good news to others, to others like them, to young people. And so we must take this inspiration from Beato Pedro to be ourselves. You, the young people, must allow the Holy Spirit to lead you and make you into bearers of the Word of God. When it comes to the honoring of Pedro, uh, Saint Pedro Calongson here in Cebu, and uh, as we all heard from uh, the Archbishop's Palace, that uh, it will be a very big event at SRP. Uh, everybody is looking forward to that. There uh, are ways to reach out to evangelize. Pedro Calongson will put us with him. Thank you.